The instruments of the New Horizons probe reportedly picked up something strange as they reached the outer dark of the solar system out past Pluto. As per the findings, the space between the stars was glowing with optical light, very, very faintly. The strange part though was the amount of light. According to the reports of the findings, there was significantly much more light than the scientists thought there should be, twice as much to be precise. The light is called the cosmic optical background, a faint luminescence from all the light sources in the universe outside a galaxy that makes the universe glow. The unexpected part was the amount of glow which was more than the usual. The scientists have laid out a possible explanation for the optical light excess in a new paper according to which the excess glow might be a byproduct of an otherwise undetectable interaction of the dark matter. The results of this work, a team of researchers led by astrophysicist Jose Louis Bernal of Johns Hopkins University wrote in the paper, provide a potential explanation for the cosmic optical background excess that is allowed by independent observational constraints and that may answer one of the most long-standing unknowns in cosmology, the nature of the dark matter. Dark matter is among the most vexing and unknown part of the universe and questions revolving around the dark matter concern the scientists the most. Dark matter is the name given to a mysterious mass in the universe which is responsible for providing far more gravity in concentrated spots than there ought to be. Galaxies, for instance, rotate faster than they should under the gravity generated by the mass of visible matter. The curvature of space-time around massive objects is greater than it should be if we calculate the warping of space based only on the amount of glowing material. Scientists have presumed the excess detected by New Horizons to be the product attributed to stars and galaxies that we can't see. And that option is still very much on the table. The work of Bernal and his team was to assess whether the axial-like dark matter could possibly be responsible for the extreme light. They conducted mathematical modeling and determined that axions with masses between 8 and 20 electron volts could produce the observed signal under certain conditions. It's impossible to tell which explanation is correct based solely on the current data. However, by narrowing down the masses of the axions that could be responsible for the excess, the researchers have laid the foundations for future searches for these enigmatic particles.